Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are doing a Milwaukee Bucks Road to Championship Rebuild. Uh, basically what this is, is we are going to keep on rebuilding this team season in and season out until we win the NBA Championship. So this video, we can win it in three seasons. It might take us 10 bitch ass seasons. You never really know when it comes to me, right? So yeah guys, um, if you do enjoy this series, I am trying to get these videos 1,000 likes. So be sure to drop a like on this video if you do want me to continue this series. And uh, let's go ahead and get started on this right here. So, of course, the best player on this team is the very young, the very awesome Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, you all know, man, that you made in the NBA when somebody could pronounce a name like that. Now, I would say this first few years in the NBA, it took me a while to pronounce that. He did not earn those crispy respect points yet. Not that he cares about those. We also have Chris Middleton. I'm actually a big fan of his. Uh, a nice 20 point per game scorer out there. Um, does not really demand the basketball, but just gets the job done. I absolutely, I absolutely love him. With that being said, one year, $13 million contract. Uh, I'm not quite sure, like, what type of money I'm willing to pay him going into next NBA offseason, but I'm sure I will give him the money out there. And then you got Eric Bledsoe. So, Eric Bledsoe already is on the trade block for the Milwaukee Bucks. There was already talks about training, training him this uh, current NBA offseason. Uh, in my opinion, it's like we can trade him. That's fine. If we just keep him for one season, that's $15 million off the books. So looking at his contract, he doesn't really have like any sort of options or nothing like that. Um, so my mind says to try to trade the guy and get something out of it. You know, something that would be realistic for a one-year rental. Uh, you got Malcolm Bragdon, who I am totally invested in as a player. He was rookie of the year. I think he's got a very high basketball IQ. And I think he's a better fit at the starting point guard spot um, instead of Eric Bledsoe. You know what I'm saying about that? Then this team went out, man, and they got Brooke L. Lopez. Like putting the L. And Lopez. This man cannot rebound the basketball. He's seven foot got 50 bitch ass rebound. Like, why would you pay this man to not rebound the basketball? That's what this team needs is rebounders and guys that can play defense in the middle. You got John Henson, who's decent at $10 million a season, but more of a backup center. Uh, Ersan Ilyasova back on a three-year $21 million contract. Um, decent stretch big, I guess, at this point, but getting kind of old. Well, not really old, but I don't know. Just more of a role player, in my opinion, man. You got Tyler Zeller, Tony Snell. You got some bitch-ass contracts out there. Then you got the rookie, Dante DiVincino, who I am totally invested in as a player also. Uh, he will spend this season inside of the G League. I know a lot of people like don't like when I totally do that. But in my opinion, Dante, he had that really good uh, you know, championship game against the Michigan Wolverines. Um, but that being said, I still think he could kind of benefit from the G League. I think he's a little ways away from really dominating. So, yeah, we are going to put him in there. Probably just for the season, though, you know, man, so he can work on some aspects of his game. Assigned to G League. And they also got Trayvon Duvall, who I also like a lot, but probably not going to do too much with him at all. So, yeah, man, um, let's go to the trade finder. And I guess who, let's see what we can get maybe for a John Henson. Um, I'm going to say Eric Bledsoe type of deal out there. So, ideally, a starting caliber center. Uh, here we got J.J. Redick and Wilson Chandler. It's not too bad. Uh, I could actually make that work. And plus, Wilson Chandler, he does. Oh, we got a, he got an option right there, $12 million. It's not too bad. But, I mean, J.J. Redick, his three-point shooting with this Bucks team would be absolutely, uh, you know, a beautiful thing out there. Mike Conley on a two-year, $30.5, $3 million contract. And Javon Carter, who's actually been pretty good in the G League. This man got a player option, too. Oh, my God. Mike Conley, king of the bitch-ass contract. Hassan Ooh. Yo, this might be the move here, guys. Hassan Whiteside and Josh Richardson. So, the Miami Heat, of course, would have to run the double backcourt with Eric Bledsoe and Goran Dragic. They also get John Henson to probably be a good mentor for Bam out there. So, uh, that's a really nice trade. Like, Hassan Whiteside's trying to get off of the Miami Heat anyway. I think the Bucks are a perfect fit. That might be the move. We got some other trades out there, but none of them are really, like, as realistic. Vucevic, also not a bad deal. That's another, that's another nice one because, I mean, uh, you look at the, you look at the, um, Orlando Magic. They got Mohamed Bamba now to be their starting center. So, yeah, with Vucevic, you do get the, uh, good scorer out there. 85 mid-range shot. Uh, can even knock down a three-point shot, which is good for space and for Giannis. Um, his rebounding, his post game is pretty damn good. Yeah, 95 offensive consistency, 89 defensive rebound. Shot block at a 70, so it's like he can throw them back. It's just four below the elite average. Um, I think I might actually like that deal better. We got DeAndre Jordan, just because, you know, I, I could see the uh, Milwaukee Bucks getting somebody like Vucevic or Sound Whiteside. I get a Sound Whiteside a lot, so let's try something else out here, man. Uh, Nikola Vucevic, welcome to the team. I like that trade. A great deal, man. A great deal. And it's only like for $12 million a season, which is kind of a steal. So, yeah, you got the team looking like this. Um, no, yeah. Yo, what y'all doing, bitch ass Brook? He going to the bench, man. All right. Would definitely also. Uh, yeah, I mean, do I want to run Ilya Sova at the four spot? This See, this rebuild is going to take like a while to get things going here. 
I guess I could try maybe Giannis at the fourth spot. Uh, like something like this. Uh, I don't know if... No, because no, because Brock needs to start at point guard now. So, yeah, that doesn't really make much sense to do that at all. We have Rick Lopez. He's going to the bench now. Uh, Giannis playing quite a bit. Ilya Sova, I guess, had 30 minutes a game. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Right, let's see what we can get for maybe like for Zeller in a trade. Now that we don't really need um, another backup center. So, let's do a trade of Zeller. And I'm going to say Tony Snell. See what that can get us. Um, don't really have any draft picks I want to try. I want to keep my first rounders this time around. So, yeah, definitely a back, uh, starting uh, power forward if possible. Or like maybe a really decent backup one. Montreal Harrell's not too bad. Not really much of a mid-range shooter, though. But I guess that would fare out nicely with Brooke Lopez off the bench. Uh, Jermichael Green, Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple, nice a backup shooting guard. Jermichael Green, probably a good backup four for us out there. Contract situation's not too bad. I actually like Garrett Temple a lot. Um, Alex Len, we got Michael Kidd Gilchrist and Willie Hernan Gomez, Noah Vonley, Justin Jackson, Kenneth Fareed, no. Dougie McBuckets, no. All right, nothing that's really popping out to me that's, like, absolutely amazing. So, ugh, yeah, I think what I'm just going to do, I'm going to do this. I'm just, I think I'm going to put, uh, Zeller, can you shoot at all? Not really a mid-range game. I guess I'm going to put Broke Lopez as a power forward. I don't love that, but, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll try it out. You might actually try starting out. Yeah, I guess we'll try this backcourt out, man. Yo, why Vucevic trying to go on the bench like that? Your bitch ass got to play, man. All right, we'll do this. Brooke Lopez at about that many minutes per game. Ugh, it's, 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 it's not the greatest lineup. This team's definitely got some work to be done here. But, uh, you know, when you got Giannis out there, uh, anything can happen, right? So, I'm not really expecting this team to do absolutely amazing. But, I think they can be a decent team. I think they'd be a decent team. So, let's go ahead, guys. Simulate this first NBA season. Definitely a very clunky front court with Brooke Lopez and Vucevic. But, we'll see if we can get it done right there, man. Yo, Brooke, just go out there and shoot some threes. I'll be... You know what, man? I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Ilya Sova got to start over you. It just makes more sense from, like, a spacing standpoint. Um, Brooke will be a backup power forward, I guess. Play some center at times, too. Let's try this lineup out. See, like, this first season. See just how good this Milwaukee Bucks team can really do. Okay, so a record of 58-23 and 23 in this first season. That I mean, that gives me confidence that I made the right trades and stuff like that. Made the right, like, lineup adjustments. Uh, first place in the Eastern Conference simulate through day. It might be a very short video today, guys. No, man, if I win this first season, I would definitely do more out there. Um, Giannis, MVP, 25 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks per game. Those are such beastly numbers out there. That's why I wanted to get some floor spaces around him to operate. Uh, Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Lin, six-man drum and defense player. Chris Dunn and Steve Curry as Coach of the Year. All-NBA first team. All-NBA second. Here is the All-NBA third. So, just the one guy off the Milwaukee Bucks there. Damn, dude, you freaking beast. <laughs> Man, oh, my God, bro. Like, he could have that type of season in real life, too. Um, Let's go ahead and check out the team and player stats real quick. So, team stats, we were, looks like, top seven in the NBA in scoring. Uh, defense, we were... Um, top five right there. So who knows, man, how this first season will end up. Player stats. Giannis is looking like that. Chris Milton is scoring was down a little bit. It does make sense. We got some other scorers on the team now at 16 points, four rebounds, five assists. Uh, Brooke Lopez actually balling out, man, at 14 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Like bringing the scoring. Even got himself one block per game out there. So he must have heard me talking trash. Got about 33% from three. Uh, Brogdon at 13 points and six assists, three rebounds. We got Vucevic at 13 and nine rebounds and four assists and one block. So. Love him uh, on the team. Ursan Ilyasova bringing it to for the $7 million a season. Okay, okay. And also, uh, Dante is now a 7-8 overall. So, he'll probably be the backup point guard next NBA season. Uh, all right, first round, we do have the 2K hateful Boston Celtics. That 2K just does not stand for some reason. Similar current rounds. And are we going to lose? Are you, for, are, you, are you serious, 2K? Why the hell are you making the Boston Celtics a bitch-ass 8 seed to beat me in the first round? God damn it, man. Oh, my God. All right, Giannis, 34.7 rebounds, three assists, three steals per game. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. They're bringing a simulation this game sometimes. Like, you're going to make them a trash eight seed, and then they're going to go out there and beat me, though, man. They're going to beat me. We got Golden State win the NBA championship. All right, guys. Um, well, I mean, the video is going to be a little bit longer now, so that's good at least, right? All right, so staff signing. I want to see, like, I forgot who the head coach of this team was. It's currently Mike Buddenhauser. Uh, definitely good with that. I mean, that's a really good coach to have. Uh, basic bitch trainer out there, so he's fine. Let him get his money. Um, I guess real quick, I am going to hit up the NBA draft. It's probably not going to be a great draft pick, but you never know. You might be able to get a snipe in one of those, uh, you know, like later first round picks. Okay, so we do have 16 trade offers for our pick in the draft. We do have the 28th pick, so it's probably not going to be great. Uh, but I figured I would, I would check things out there. 
Yo, Tristan Thompson for $18 million for one season? Um, Yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's not too bad. Like, he would definitely help be, be like a backup center off the bench with his rebounding. Um, And I can't really think of any free agents I'm going to be going for anyway. So, this actually would be a pretty good trade for us. Just for like a bench where I love the offensive defense rebounding in him. So, might do that. That would allow us to let Tyler Zeller probably walk away from the team. Alex Len at a cheap price. Uh, Mazgoff. Okay, we got some bitch asses on here now. Um, We, got some, we also got this Houston Rockets future first all right let me go ahead and see who's actually here available I don't know if I want to spend no 18 million dollars on the man so as far as players available EJ Montgomery power forward we got Lamonte West we do got Sharif O'Neal Jante Porter uh Saga Konate you know what man I better take Sharif O'Neal or my whole entire comment section will be filled with people say why did you not take Sharif O'Neal so let's go ahead man Sharif welcome to the team okay so rookie signings he is a 70 overall will probably spend the first season in the G League uh, team player options, Chris Middleton did decline his option for $13 million. Uh, I will bring bring back Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, Tyler Zeller, 78 overall for $1 million, or about $2 million. Definitely worth it. Thon Maker, I might actually use him as some trade bait this time around. DJ Wilson, I actually like DJ Wilson too, but that's me being a Michigan fan. So, yeah. Uh, qualifying offers, nothing going on there. We got free agency and moratorium period. Here we go, here we go. All right, so as far as players available, I mean, realistically speaking, like, we were in first place, so I was happy about that. Um, so I definitely want to get Chris Middleton back on this team. As far as other positions, like, Vucevic, I want to pay him the money. I mean, 83 overall, he does want about $26 million a season. Is there any other better fits out there, like DeMarcus Cousins? Um, I don't see that happening. Carl Anthony Towns, I could potentially see him leaving the Timberwolves team up with the Giannis would be kind of cool to see. So I'm going to throw him a very large offer. Um, but chances are he'll probably will get matched by the Timberwolves. So we'll throw him the four-year with the uh, player option. Probably will not accept that, though. Marcus Saul, another interesting fit. Bit too much money, though, for my liking. It's on white side for $26 million. He's the Valachunas. All right, so Valachunas has a very nice mid-range game. 79 three-point shot. Uh, his rebound is at 95 overall rebounding. So in a 73 sh uh, shot block, a year younger than Vucevic. I can see myself giving him the money here, guys. Like, a max contract, ooh, it's a bit too much. That's the most I can give him right now. I think I'm going to offer him that up, though. Okay, so, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this going to happen? Are we going to get Carl Anthony Towns? We'll take me over the cap. Here we go, man. Here's me uh, screwing things up again with the cap. All right, can I get this done? All right, let me try making a quick trade here real quick, guys. Uh, I'm going to announce some rights here, though, because I really don't want those guys back. Okay, so let me let me try doing a quick trade uh, yeah, Tony Snow got a bitch-ass contract, so we'll probably trade that away. I'll take this deal right there. Good with that. Um, any more bitch-ass contracts? Yeah, Della Doba for sure. Save us about $10 million for this offseason. We can trade him, hopefully, maybe for uh, just like a second-round draft pick or something. There we go. Take Trayvon Graham back for $1 million. And hopefully this frees up the money to, to allow Carl Anthony Towns to uh, team up with Giannis on the Milwaukee Bucks to do some big-time things. Oh my god, man. It says I still can't do it. Come on, man. I want I want this dude on my team. I want this dude on my team. Any other contracts we can trade away? Um I guess Thon Maker. I guess I would be willing to let him go. And uh Pat. Let's try this out. Maybe for maybe we get like a second round draft for both these guys. I would do that too. I, I don't want to. But uh okay, I might have to try actually trade. Oh my god, man. Yo, I'm not trying to give you all that. I'm not trying to give you all that money though, DeAndre. That's too much money right there. But uh, yeah, I probably have to trade these guys separate to get it done. Let me try to find Maker first, see if that frees up the cash. If not, I'm probably just gonna like Carl Anthony Towns walk and go for somebody else, I suppose. Although I really don't want to. All right, who's giving me that second rounder? Here we go. Here we go. Who's doing it, man? Okay, let me do. Oh, John Collins for two million dollars. Patrick Beverly. This actually doesn't make much sense. We'll, we'll try this. Okay, there we go. All right, we just got we got the uh, protected first round draft pick. So hopefully this frees up the money now. It does. Is he going to get matched? It was all for nothing. Man. He got matched by the bitch-ass Timberwolves. I knew it was going to happen. Valtteri is back to the Raptors. All right. That sucks. Um, That just sucks. Because, I mean, we, got, we, we did free up more money, though. But I guess Vucevic, I'm going to give you, like, a one-year deal. I'm going to try you out for one more season. But I really don't want to commit too much money for, uh, to you right now. So I'm going to give you, like, a one-year $27 million contract to uh, come back to this team for just one season just one season and all right so he wants to accept that uh chris middleton let's pay him his money now i think he's worth it so yeah give him the five-year deal about 24 million dollars a season 
should be a good right there he, he definitely deserves it guys he definitely deserves it so all right he wants to accept that and now i do not have enough money to give Vucevic on the team all right well that sucks um well i guess i can offer him this right here you know what man give me Vucevic for the three years to uh, 25 million dollars i guess if he wants to accept it i could use him as trade bait later on if i want to so we'll do that uh brooke lopez also looking for about give about seven million dollars a season he actually was our third leading scorer on the team so for a backup uh, i'll definitely do that so there we go he's on the team um as far as other players any like really cheap guys we can get like maybe like rudy gay off the bench cannot really afford him um say Dwayne Deadman, don't really need him at all Gerald Green he's always nice but I'm not gonna get him Wayne Ellington I always like Wayne Ellington or maybe like a Lance Stevenson too we'll throw him a contract good nice little fetch he's only 27 Wayne Ellington give him the minimum all right um Wayne Ellington accepts that and Lance Stevenson accepts that we'll get both those guys all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season okay so this is the lineup for this nba season brogdon at point guard chris milton Giannis, ersan ilias sophie in the start at the four spot vucevic at the five uh then we got dante as our starting point guard at 78 overall we got brooke lopez back to his natural center position lance stevenson in some minutes wayne ellington and also dj wilson's now a 76 overall can actually be a pretty nice stretch big on this team um so yeah man once again it's like that last off season really just came down to re-signing some of our guys out there and get back against some veteran players on this team was really hoping Carl Anthony Towns would have worked out but I mean this team can still get it done as proved last season just playoff time though y'all might gotta do a little better out there man so let's go ahead and simulate this next NBA season see just how good this Bucks team can really do okay so this time a record of 56 and 25 which is good for second place in the east only to Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors simulate their day against the Chicago Bulls uh finish with w on the season so 57 wins with stephen curry getting mvp so no Giannis this time around here's the rest of the awards you guys see real quick here and all nba first team Giannis did get at least i think you all nba first all nba second and here is the all nba third team with uh d'angelo russell and luka Doncic actually playing up big all right let's go ahead and check out these team and player stats real quick we got uh team stats at looks like we were one of the top scoring teams six in the nba and scoring at 111 points and then defensively we were a top 16 in that department player stats uh Giannis scoring down the season a bit man 23 points about 10 rebounds six assists two steals two blocks per game Chris Milton at 15 points four rebounds four assists uh but Dante DiVincino looking like he might want to be the starting point guard of this team dropping 14 uh four rebounds four assists and one steal Vucevic at 13 points eight rebounds five assists I love the five assists that Vucevic is putting up the um for this rebuild Brogdon great numbers for himself Ersan Ilya Silva doing things he did last season so yeah that's what it's looking like all right first round we do have the Washington Wizards so similar current round see how this goes don't lose first round guys don't lose first round oh my god we almost did I swear if you guys were gonna choke again somebody was about to freaking get traded I don't know who it was gonna be Brooke no I don't know I don't want to blame it on him <laughs> he's actually been playing pretty decent all right <laughs> next up the Chicago Bulls Similar current rounds and got them four games to two close out game looking like this 23 6 and 3 for Giannis with three blocks out there next up we do have the Boston Celtics who beat us last season similar current round and got them in seven games we have the Phoenix Suns in the NBA Finals guys we might win the championship here in the second season if that's the case I will do a three season rebound I'll do one more final season similar current round and guys we won the championship in two seasons man I mean I didn't expect to see the Phoenix Suns there but Giannis Antetokounmpo finals MVP at 22.7 rebounds uh six assists two steals one block per game uh yeah I was definitely not expecting this to happen so soon but hey when you're playing against the Phoenix Suns in the NBA finals somehow that's how it works out let's do one more season though because make it a three season rebuild at least it's kind of my things with this um so all right I am not gonna worry about the NBA draft we're gonna go straight to rookie signings and just check that out real quick so we end up getting alfonso gaffney uh not gonna sign him up though team player options did have dimachino and dj wilson except both those team options i can't imagine we have a ton of money freed up via free agency malcolm brogdon on the qualifying offer hopefully he signs that uh the moratorium period looking like this so yeah as far as like money available we just don't have it uh, i am going to give brogdon a contract though because i'm considering doing a sign trade to maybe improve another position for us and then Dante could be our new starting point guard so I'll give him like the four-year 24 million dollar contract um he's down for that <laughs> I would be too damn 107 million dollars uh other players available I mean a lot of the guys that we just signed were kind of like multi-year contracts so 
I really don't see any steals out there, like any guys for the low low. Uh, Dwight Powell, 79 overall player. Damn, I'm not, I'm not trying to do all that. Yo, let me actually get the moratorium period. So that way, I have, yo, we for sure like know like how much money we got and everything like that. So yeah, as far as money available, negative 54 bitch ass dollars. Damn. So if I get yo Jeff Teague kind of for him, I can. So Jeff Teague on this team would definitely work out because then, like I was saying, then I could trade Malcolm Brogdon. And then I could start Dante. So Jeff Teague is going to accept that contract. That's beautiful. All right. Um, besides for that, yo, Tristan Thompson on that cheap contract. No, okay, what's well, whatever. Uh, who else we got? Rondo. Anybody else I want to go for? Not really, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so this is what the team is looking like so far, right there. Definitely got to uh, maybe look at some trades to consider. Because if we can get like a really beastly power forward, maybe even a center. Uh, I'm definitely going for it. So let's do a trade of just Brogdon. I want to see what I can get with Vucevic just to see. That might be too much money to trade at once, though. So Tobias Harris, Lou Williams, not doing that. Mike Conley, no. Goran Dragic, Sam Whiteside, no. Rudy Gobert, no. Kemba Walker, no. All right. Uh, Andrew Drummond, Reggie Jackson, Miritich, Dragon, Bender, no. All right. So not really loving any of those trades. Um, let me try Brogdon just by himself, see what that can get for us. So power forward, definitely the one that I want to get. JJ Redick, Larry Nance. Terry Rozier, Lou Will, Isaiah Thomas, Goran Dragic, Nicholas Batum, Rudy Gobert, Kevin Walker. Damn, they're really like not any like great uh, power forwards to get these days, is there? Like, once you really think about it, yo, know, who, who could I actually like go for myself though, man? What about Kevin Love? What y'all want for Kevin Love on this team? Come on, Cavs. Well, I ain't doing that trade. Def I mean, it's actually not too bad. Cause then, well, I'm not, our center position's kind of ass. JJ Redick off the bench, though. And then we can start Brogdon as shooting guard. Okay. You know what, man? I'm trying to have some fun. I'm, I'm trying to try something different. Let's get Kevin Love up on here, guys. It's starting to become more, more of a fantasy rebuild. But we did, uh, you know, win the championship. So, I feel like I have that right now to do so. All right. Now I need a center. Let's do a trade of Lance Stevenson and bitch ass Brooke Lopez and a future first round draft. Come on, man. Give me, give me a good center. Give me, give me DeAndre Jordan. That's who I want. Larry Nance. I mean, I would actually do that. That might be the trade I do. Unless something better is offered up. Kyle Kuzma, JaVel McGee, John Henson. All right. Um, Jaleel Okafor. No. Deontay Davis. No. You know what, man? Give me the uh, 81 overall Larry Nance. All right. So then I'll do this. I'll put Brogdon at backup shooting guard. Right? Yeah. 87 overall player. I'm fine with that. And all of a sudden, this team looking athletic as hell with Larry Nance. So we got Dante Brogdon. Um, we got Giannis. We got Kevin Love, Larry Nance. Off the bench, we do have uh, JJ Redick, Jeff Teague, DJ Wilson, Ursan Ilyasova. And, yo, let's put Ilyasova as small forward because I know his rating will go up from that. So, yeah, we'll put him right there. 77 overall. Fix this real quick. And that's the team, man. That's the team. Are we going to win a back-to-back -back championship? I mean... I don't know. I feel like we could get it done. Let's see if Dante can put up some beastly numbers. Let's go ahead, guys, and simulate this final season and see just how good this Kevin Love Giannis team. You know what? No, no, no. Giannis Kevin Love team can really do. So a record is 64 and 17, which is the reason why I need to stick to realistically rebuild because all of a sudden, man, you know, my my 2K, my league, godly knowledge comes out and it just takes over. I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. I'll probably lose first round of the playoffs. Or I'll probably lose first round of the playoffs knowing me. Uh, similarly through day against the Knicks right there and finish the W on the season. 65 wins. Uh, Giannis once again getting the MVP award. I actually really wish that he would team up with Kevin Love. Um, I feel like that duo would be just a really nice thing to, uh, thing to watch. Here's the rest of the awards. You got Isaiah Thomas again, six man of the year on some team because uh, the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, that's interesting. We oh my God, him and Trey Young in the backcourt. Ugh, interesting. We got uh, Mike Buddenhoser, Hauser, however you say it. Here's the NBA teams real quick. All right. Uh, let's check out the team and player stats on the season. So, player stats, we got, we got, we got. Um, all right. Point per game. Where, where we at, man? Points per game. We were the second best team in that department in the NBA. And defensively, we're the fourth best team. Player stats. Giannis, we know his stat line right there looking like that. Dante, 17 points. Four rebounds, six assists, one steal per game. Looking like he might be a baller in the NBA. Kevin Love, 17 points, nine rebounds, three assists. JJ Reg, 13 points off the bench. Brogdon did pretty solid as the uh, starting shooting guard, although maybe I should start JJ Reg over him. I guess, you know, they still both, they, they, they both did fine out there. Um, so here we go. First round of the playoffs. We do have the Orlando Tragic. I mean, the Magic. Simulate current round. See how this goes. 
and got them four games to zero. Um, close out game looking like this. Who the hell is this man? Scotty Lewis. You related Richard Lewis of the Magic? Or used to play for the Magic, I should say. Giannis close out game looking amazing. Next up, Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors. Similar current rounds. And well, we lost in the seven games in the second round. Dante at 26.7 assists, 26 10 5 for Giannis. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. We did win a championship, so I just feel how is Phoenix doing this? God damn, in the NBA Finals again, man. De DeAndre Ayton, Finals MVP, being the New York Knicks. All right, I would actually freaking watch the hell out of that Finals matchup. I would watch the hell out of it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you are interested in becoming a Crispy Flakes member, hit that join button or click the link in the uh, pinned comment of this video for some exclusive perks. Peace out, guys.